Salutations friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some fragrances from my collection that project. These have fantastic sayage, they fill a room, they're very loud and proud, and they're the fragrances that I like, the fact that they have decent projection. Sometimes I want a more intimate fragrance. So these are the ones that I like, how loud they are, how much they project and perform, and there's some things that I just enjoy wearing, especially when I want to make a statement with my fragrance. So if you'd like to see the top 10 fragrances in my collection that have fantastic, fantastic projection, and then keep watching. So a little disclaimer, when it comes down to loud projecting fragrances, I would never recommend these for school, for work, or in any place like a theater where you're sitting in close proximity to people, especially people you don't know. If you ever hear me make recommendations, if it's work appropriate or class appropriate, I'm not so much talking about the fragrance as how the fragrance will affect others. So some cases fragrances are really intimate and sit really close to the skin and those work beautifully in classroom environments but then if something's really loud, if someone's sitting next to you, especially if you don't know them, has an issue with fragrances, you want to be a little mindful of that. So that being said, all of these I would not recommend for the classroom or work or the theater. But let's again get back into the, the fragrance. These are the ones again, like I said previously, that preform the best that I like the fact that they project. Again, some fragrances I like it when they're a little bit more intimate. These are very loud, very fantastically strong sillage, and it works with where I like to wear these and the situation that I wear these the most. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is Calligraphy Rose from Aramis. Now if you guys haven't tried this, this is a beautiful incense rose. It reminds me a lot of Rose Flash from Towerville, only this is more incense than rose, and uh, Rose Flash to me is more rose than incense. You get a jammy rose, but you get this blast of incense and almost spice. And that's what just will envelope you around, uh, envelope around you, and give you like a cocoon of fragrance. Um, I love wearing this, especially if I'm going to be out and about outside, like if we're going to go to a park or a museum. I love wearing this because this radiates this beautiful, like jammy rose incense, just gloriously warm fragrance. Um, and I just feel like it's perfect for that environment. Um, so I do really, really love this one a lot, and it does have ridiculously decent sillage. Again, it enters the room before I'm there and stays long after I leave. So, but yeah, this is just a gorgeous fragrance in general. Also, if I have any reviews on these fragrances, I will link them below. And if you guys want any reviews on these fragrances that don't have reviews, let me know below as well. Um, this next one is Enslaved from Roja Parfums. I recently did a review on this, guys. I love this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's in no way groundbreaking, but what it does, it does exceptionally well. Um, and I just adore it. But this is just another one of those really loud, slightly powdery, floral just banquets that just will envelope and fill a room long before you even have a chance to stop it. Um, it's really ridiculously classy and elegant and sophisticated, and this is one of my favorite nighttime fragrances, although I have been known to wear it in the day, and I think if you're going to be outside, kind of like Calligraphy Rose, and you give this the opportunity for it to like waft in the air, it's beautiful, but this is again something that has ridiculous projection that I would not recommend <clears throat> for indoors or class or theater or work, but I do adore this one. Next up is Hypnotic Poison, and there is no question that this would make it to this list. This one, at least on my skin, gets some of the best projection out of all of these, which is saying something, because a lot of these perform pretty loudly or scream pretty loudly um, the nicest thing about this fragrance is that the longer it's in the air the softer it gets and I'm not saying like of course it's gonna wear away once you leave but even if I'm standing around in a room and I've just been spraying this and I just sprayed this on maybe an hour ago if people are standing around me it's not gonna radiate consistently it starts off really strong and then gets really soft which is really really nice However, this is one of the most polarizing scents on the planet. People either love it or they can't even be within a mile of it. It's kind of like Angel. People run for the hills if they know that you're wearing this. So that's why I never recommend this place anywhere unless you know people can at least handle fragrances. 
um, but it is very loud, it is very beautiful, it has ridiculous sillage. Um, at the same time, it's very pleasant to be around if you like the fragrance. There's even some fragrances that perform pretty loudly that I love the smell of, but if it's a little bit too much, I can't be around it. I'm like, this is too much for even me. But this one is not one of them. You could probably open this bottle and dump this on your head or dump this on my head. And within an hour, I'd be okay with being around you or even being around myself because this settles in really nicely. It gets a little soft, a little bit powdery, and a little bit floral um, the longer it sits in the air, which is what I really, really nice. Again, that's on my skin and my experience. Other people might be different, but this does have fantastic projection, which is why it made it this why it made it in this video. There we go. Here's another top performer. This is Dior. This is the newest reformulation. I believe it's the 2014 one. Dior Addict. Another Dior. I don't think I've had any projection issues with any Dior fragrances. I think that they perform pretty well. Um, this is another beauty. It's like a boozy vanilla. There's just something powdery about it. It's really delicious. I love it. I don't know. I keep ripping off the cap, but this one performs beautifully as well. It's very soft. It's very warm, slightly floral, a little bit powdery. Um, and again, excellent, excellent projection. Uh, this is one of my favorite nighttime scents. I just think it's perfect for the evening, cool evenings, warm evening, evenings, hot evenings, wet evenings. I'm not talking about the sexy wet. I'm talking about thunderstorms. If you live in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is just perfect in general. It just works for pretty much any um, event, occasion. It can be really casual. It can be really formal. And this is projects beautifully. So if you're going to a party, if you're going to the club, if you're going on a date, and you really want to make an impact with a very strong fragrance, I think this one is perfect. I'm just going to... So if this video isn't too long, I'm just going to get these two out of the way real quick. I don't even think I need to say anything. Chanel number no. 5 and Shalimar. Classics, been around for almost 100 years now. Project, 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 project. Yeah. Next up is a fragrance from YSL. This is Black Opium. Again, this is vanilla, coffee, a little bit of chocolate. At least I get chocolate. Mostly coffee and um, vanilla I get from this. Beautiful, boozy fragrance. Absolutely love it. This is becoming a fast favorite. Fra mm. A fast favorite. I can say real words like a real people. Um, a fast favorite. I see this all over people's top lists, specifically a lot of beauty gurus who are like, this is my fragrance correct collection. I love this fragrance. This is a gorgeous fragrance. It's this very... to me is an introductory gourmand. I'm going to be doing an entire video of introductory gourmands very soon. Um, I'll explain um, what introductory gourmands are, at least in my opinion, and give you guys some examples. A beautiful scent, projects very loudly, fills a room, very sexy, very sensual, um, sits on the skin beautifully, and definitely makes an impact. Next up is one of the newer ones to my collection. It's from Panna London. This has really nice projection, actually. The longer I wear this, the longer I realize this really just is kind of loud in a very positive way on my skin. This is Velvet Oud, obviously. This is one of my favorites. The road in, rose in this is beautiful. It's like warm and just kind of like soft and then the oud kind of hits you later on. It's a gorgeous fragrance. Absolutely love it. Um, and this just has fantastic, fantastic projection. Um, I think this would be probably pretty, um, one of the ones that might be safer to wear around people who you don't know who might like fragrance. Most of these, if not all of these, I wouldn't recommend so much for a work or class environment. But if I had to choose one that was safer to wear to class or to work, it would definitely be this one. Um, again, fantastic projection and sillage, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, and it lasts a long time too. So this is great to spritz on your skin before you go out. And when you come back after a few hours, you're still going to smell pretty strong. And this is going to still have excellent projection. Next up are two from the same house. I will show you my top projecting fragrance at the end. These were in no particular order, but the last one will be the one that projects the best, in my opinion. Um, and this is Aqua Universalis Forte. Now, if you know my collection, <laughs> you might know which one's going to be number one, but let's get into this. This is my wedding scent. I keep saying that I talked about it in my scent memories. 
This is one of the most beautiful fragrances I have ever smelled in my life. This is one of the fragrances that if I found out it was discontinued, I would probably buy like five bottles of it because I don't know if I could ever be without this fragrance. It just brings back so many beautiful memories. It fits my environment where I live and how I like to smell perfectly. It's beautiful for the summer, but it's also robust enough to be really good in the autumn and winter times as well. It's good for casual. It's good for, you know, if you're going to something a little bit more formal. It's a very transportive ex um, experience for me just because it reminds me of my wedding. It's just stunning, like stunning, like beyond stunning. But this has fantastic projection. I find a lot of his fragrances do. There's one or two that don't so much, but I don't mind it because sometimes you want something a little bit more intimate. But if you're looking for a fragrance that is citrus and biting and perfect for spring or summer, that's also loud and proud, definitely check out Aqua Universalis Forte. Aqua Universalis itself is a beautiful fragrance and I am going to pick it up, but there's something specific about Forte that I like. It's a little bit more intense in the citrus and I think that also makes it a little bit louder and have it project a lot, project, there we go, a lot better. But yes, I love this one so All much. Right. So I've gone through nine fragrances um, and again, these ones project loudly properly. Sometimes some fragrances are so loud, but they are like, it's not positive. It's like, ugh. These have such a beautiful projection. They're very loud. They fill a room, but it's a positive experience generally. So I kept some out that fill a room um, maybe even a little bit better than these, but it can be almost stifling and a little bit too thick, even for my nose. And I don't mind loud fragrances. I actually really enjoy them. This one has the most pleasant experience around it, especially when you first spray it. And this has fantastic projection. Um, and it is Baccarat Rouge 540 from Mason Francis Kirk John. This, again, I did a review on it. The Marigold, it's like burnt sugar and flowers. It's so beautiful, you guys. It's a stunning fragrance just in general. It's sparkling. It smells red and gold and just like crystal. Mm, it's so freakishly good. I love it. Uh, but this fills a room like none other, at least in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. I've worn one spritz of this and my entire house smelled like this. One spritz. Just one. Holy crap. My husband doesn't mind it too much because it reminds him of cotton candy, even though it does not smell like cotton candy. It does smell very sweet, kind of like a caramelized sugar, which I guess could be kind of like cotton candy. Eh. Um, not cheap. Very, very, very high-end smelling cotton candy. Like expensive gourmet cotton candy that you get at like the fat duck or Alinea or El Bulli or something like that. <laughs> like high end expensive cotton candy. It's just really a fantastic fragrance. It smells beautiful on everybody. I know some people say that this is too feminine for men, but this would be so sexy on a guy, you guys. So good. Uh, but this just fills a room. It makes the room warm. It makes the room sweet. It makes the room inviting. And you could walk in and you would not be like pushed down. It would not knock you off your feet. It would envelope you like in a blanket filled with kittens and feathers and sunshine and rainbows. And you would just feel comforting and you would smell things that were beautiful. And it's just like has just such the best experience for me when it comes to sillage. It's just really, really beautiful. So that is why this one is my top performer for um, projection, not just because it can fill a room with one spritz, but it is a really beautiful experience when it does. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my picks. I would love to know what fragrances that you guys think have fantastic projection in your collections. Um, give me some recommendations. I'm always down to buy, have excuses to buy new things. And I always like to know what you guys hear. I learn a lot from you guys. I learn more than you think. A lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you like my fragrance videos, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free.
and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye!